What's up, YouTube? What y'all got going on? Well, today, we're gonna take another look at that water and got a few other things on the agenda. But first off, let's go grab some eggs. Let's see how many uh, eggs I got. And pop that one. And grab this. This door can open. It was tight. See if we can't. There we go. Ready? It's like noon. These ladies are hungry this morning. They ate all the feed. Got the ladies fed. Let's go ahead, see, if, see uh, if we can grab the eggs. See if we got any eggs. Well, I know we got eggs. I saw one earlier. Well, I got three eggs. I wish I had more, but it is what it is. We're back at it again. This thing didn't work quite right. Uh, first off, I didn't realize this thing works on a suction type system. And so when I put the hole in it, I completely ruined it. Uh, so one thing it does, first and foremost, is it when I put it on the chain outside, is it, it tilts to this side. Whatever side this is on, it wants to favor it. And so, we're gonna do several things today to try to fix it. Uh, as you can see, I've already uh, made the hole bigger to slide this down in there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to think about some things to fix it, and hopefully I can get it functioning today. So we got the final water system kind of worked out. We took a tube, attached it to the funnel itself, made the hole a little larger. We shoved the hole to the funnel inside the water system. We got it epoxied. One of the problems I mentioned earlier is that when I fill up, or when I filled up, this water, uh, it would tilt to whatever side the funnel was on. So what I'm trying to do as a counterbalance is I took what they call a S screener because it's in the shape of an S, and I attached three eye bolts. I'll tell you, I love those things. I attach three eye bolts to the opposite side. Hopefully it'll counter hopefully it will be a counterbalance and this whole system will work as intended. What I'm gonna try to do to keep the water from uh, just going out is I'm gonna take a cork like out of a wine bottle. And I took a uh, eye bolt. I love the little eye bolts. But uh, I took the cord, screwed the eye bolt in it, and then I took a chair drainer, attached it to the eye bolt. That way I could just pull this whole system out of the funnel. So we're gonna let it dry. And now I'm gonna go outside and clean out the nest blocks and the roost. Despite the fact that I want to keep the manure and everything in here to keep them warm, my eggs are just so dirty, I gotta clean it out. I gotta take the little roost out. 
and stop. I just throw it in the bucket, take it out when I'm done. This stuff is really uh how packaged. It's been about two or three months since I cleaned it out. But it'll be real great compost. That is cold. Not as cold as it uh, has been though. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this back side and move on. So I got every everything cleaned out. I'm gonna go ahead and put new shavings inside. What I wanted to show y'all, if you look on the floor, now granted, a lot of this is uh, for what I'm doing right now. Cleaning out the nest box and the roost. However, about 20% of the mess that's on the floor did come from the chickens, chicken out in the uh, compost. But I would say these ladies are upset. I would say that the board did help keep my deck a whole lot cleaner. Well, we got all the ladies taken care of. I got the uh, water contraption drying. I reckon that's everything that needs to be done. All right, I came out here to check on some stuff, hang out with the ladies. Let's go ahead and get on a snack. I had this bird always jumps up here. Same one, every day. I am so tired of that water. It's on my nerves. If it doesn't work this time, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, don't mind that noise. The dog's playing with his new toy back there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, appreciate you watching. Peace out.